So just like on the twin screw extruder, this is a single screw extruder. We have a drive motor, a gearbox, a hopper that's filled with resin pellets. Pellets drop down through the feed throat into the barrel and screw assembly. We have a crosshead die that takes the flow and rotates it 90 degrees upward. An annular die that makes a hollow tube. On the outside of the tube, we have an external air ring that's cooling the film down. You can see the frost line. We have an internal air ring and air holes that introduces the air. That's how we control the diameter of our bubble. The bubble comes up through these guide rails, through the collapsing frame that ensures nice, smooth, unwrinkled bubble through the nip rollers, where we have one rubber roller and one metal roller to ensure there's no slippage. We come down over an idle roller in front of another idle roller. We have a lit screen so you can look for defects and contaminants in your extrudate. Another idle roller. We have two drive rollers, so we go behind the first drive roll and in between the two drive rolls. And then we have a winding roll on a rack and pinion system, which collects the film. And as the film windup gets thicker, it just moves the winder back on the rack and pinion system to ensure continuous operation. We have our main power switch right here. We have our screw speed, or our screw um, power here. Screw speed is read out on this digital display and controlled with this tachometer. So that as we turn the tachometer, we increase or decrease our screw speed. We have our motor load. So again, measuring how hard the drive motor is working to turn the screw. We have our zone one temperature, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone two is 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Zone 3 is 430 degrees Fahrenheit, and our end zone is 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Our, our bottom die zone is again at 430 degrees Fahrenheit, and our top um, die zone is at 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Over here we have our nip roll speed, which is increased and decreased with these arrows, and is set to 4.1 feet per minute. We have our drive roll speed, which is controlled with these two arrows, and is currently set to 5.5 feet per minute. We have our blower fan um, speed, 2,415 RPMs. This knob opens and closes our nip rolls. This knob, this tachometer controls the speed of our blower motor, and then these are the power, power on for the nip and drive rolls power on for the blower motor. And then over here we have the internal air. So as we turn this knob counterclockwise, we introduce more air to our system. And as we turn it clockwise, we turn the air on.